Hey guys, it's Darren and Jordan with the Haas Factory Outlet in Spring, Texas. Today we're going to run two different uh, machines that we have here in this showroom and uh, making the same part, a lathe operation, following it up with our five axis mill operation. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around and we'll get started. So this is the new ST35L, brand new machine for Haas and us. The machine has literally been redesigned from the ground up. We're going to be machining the lathe portion of this part here today. The major differences with the ST35, we, we now have a 55 degree slant. So the slant is now changed from 45 degree to 55 degree. If it's a taller machine, but it's not as wide front to back as it used to be. So it takes up less floor space in the shop. The gearbox option. It's got the 60 inch Z travel, the long bed. Since the machine's gonna be real common to perform, you know, deep boring operations, maybe steady rest operations with long devibration boring bars, another thing the machine comes standard with is the deep bore pocket. That way when you have your turning tools on one side of the turret, you can have your long devi bars on the other. They'll clear without having to worry about interference with the back wall itself. It's really a nice setup and we have not made a shaving with it yet. So we're about to do that for the first time today for you. We are also about to run our UMC 1000. The UMC 1000 is also a part of the new family of UMCs that have been redesigned as well. So now the 500, the UMC 750 and the UMC 1000 are all in the same family. Once we take that demo part out of the lathe, we're gonna put it into our five axis mill and we're gonna run a couple of veins for you on the particular demo part. The UMC 1000 has a much larger platter than before. It's actually got 40 inch X, 25 inch Y, and actually 25 inch Z, but it gives you a full clearance of 29 inches from the platter to the top of Z travel. This particular part's about a 200 pound part. It's about eight inch diameter at the bottom base and it's actually 20 inches tall. What's our depth of cut there, Jordan? 150,000. Okay. 12,000 per rev. So that's 150 per side at 12 thousandths per rev. About 50% load here. About 50% load on the spindle. Right at about an eight inch diameter cut. Sounding real good. 